Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. We're going to talk about music theory. Just a smidge of music theory here, like an intro uh, to music theory on dulcimer. Um, and I, uh, I would guess that some of this information is going to be redundant to you. You already know it. But there's probably going to be some stuff in here that you didn't know too. So, okay. Um, let's get started. We're tuned in D-A-D, right? So our melody and our bass string are both tuned to D. So when we're in D-A-D tuning, right here at the nut, we're on the zero fret. We're zeroed out. So as we go up our scale here, there's only a certain number of notes before we hit the same note again, but in a higher octave as we're going up, right? So we've got our zero there. Let's go to the seventh fret. You may or may not have double dots here, okay? Play that. Now play it open. There is where our octave changes, okay? And on my dulcimer, there's double dots, okay? Now I'm looking up and I see a pattern repeating. I see another single dot. That's the same note an octave up. Then if I go up, I see another double dot. Guess what? We're zeroed out again. That's what that means. So we can play one, two, three and about a half octaves on this dulcimer. Okay? On one string, right? We can play three octaves on one string. Two and a half. <laughs> All right. So I want you to understand that. So if you're playing down here at the second fret, you can also play up here at the second fret. Just think of it as starting over again if you'd like. Um, there's your second fret again. Okay? I hope you're understanding this and following along. No, we don't call it the second fret up here. But in your, in your noodle up here, you can think of it like that. If you're more of a visual learner, you could think of it like that. Right? So that's the same note, just in a different octave. Okay? So when we, and, and our octaves, we can play and replace a note, a D note. We can play it in any octave we want. It's still a D note. So we can replace that note anywhere we want. Okay, so wow, this opens up a whole lot of possibilities. Not only do we have our D note on the high melody string, we have it on the low bass string too. Okay? Now we also have a D note on our middle string as well, but it's not there. It's because we're at A, right? So our D note for our A string is at the third fret. Those are all Ds. So then again, if we move this up, are they all going to be Ds again? Let's see. They're still all Ds. But one note that we're playing is in a different octave. Now, we can mimic that by pressing down here at our zero spot, our seventh fret, our nut again. We could press down there like this, let's say, or we could press down like this and press this down, and we've got another D note, all the D notes again, all right? So there's, I just want you to realize that these patterns repeat over and over again, um, and that anything you play on the melody note, on the melody line, can be repeated on the bass string, okay? All right, so we've got that. We've got our octave changes. And we've got that. Now, what I want you to think of here, too, is expanding upon the melody lines, right? Right? So we can first use the bass line. Now, what else can we do? We can mix them up, right? We could go... But 
We can also mirror them. <coughs> now, we can also find the same note on other strings, right? More than just the bass and the melody. We can find it in that middle string too. So like I did with Camp Town Races, we can play these songs in other spots. And I've showed you that on a bunch of videos, all right? I just want you to start really thinking about that. You don't have to know the note name. So let's run something on the melody line, and then we're gonna find it elsewhere. What was that? That was Soldier's Joy, right? Now let's find it on another string. If we know the note name here, we know that's an A, but if we don't, we can do it by ear. Right? So we can replace that note for that note. So. So what's our next note? Okay, so our first note is right here. So we know that those notes match, so we know we're going up, so let's go up. Do you see here this space? Do you notice how they're the same? Watch this. We went up one full step, okay? That's what the big spaces are. They're a full step in music, up, right? These ones in between are half steps, okay? So if we start here, and we go up one, if we're gonna start here on the same note, look at that, right? Same notes. All right? Right? Now, what comes into play now? What about the mirror? Remember, what we do down here, we can do up here. So we go. Ooh, now we're starting to sound neat, huh? Okay. What's our next note? It's an open, right? Right? So we work our, our way through here. Right? So we work our way through. I'm wanting you to understand this, okay? You can work your way through. All right, so we know we're starting out the same again. Then it went. Just mirror it. Now listen to this. We just moved the melody off the melody line and we just used more notes and kept it all right here instead of going up here, right? Remember all these things that I'm saying, they're kind of building on each other, okay? Let's do that again, all right? Right? So again, Hope that's making sense to you. All right, now, this should, if you uh, didn't already know this, you should be going, wow, right now, okay? Because what, what have we just opened up? We've unlocked a treasure trove of information all the way up and down this fretboard. Now don't go don't go crazy and get overwhelmed and think, 
oh my God, I can't do this. You can do this, all right? Find your note here, right? Find it there. Then go, take the time, right? Take the time and just go. Okay, where did Mandy say that was? No, you're not thinking that. You're going, okay, I can find this myself. I can do it a number of ways. If I know my fretboard notes, I can do it this way. D, E, F sharp, G, A. If I don't know that, so what? That's okay too. I can do it right here. I can go. Okay, well I already know that up here is the same note, right? I already know that. But where else is that note? Well, it's also here. Where else is it? It's somewhere on this middle string too, so let's find it. Oh wait, was that it? That was it. So find these things, pick them out, okay? That's, um, this, if you will just take the time to think about this and do this. I'm not talking about chords right now. That's a whole nother world. But chords are not as hard as people make them out to be either, okay? But, um, I just wanted you to understand these patterns repeat and what you find down here you can also find it up here and you can find it on this string too so don't be afraid to do that okay all right i hope you enjoyed that beginning look at music theory on the dulcimer and before i go i always want to remind you that jesus loves you bye bye y'all <laughs>